Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea and if you're new here, welcome. For today's video, this is completely different from anything in my channel, but it has everything to do with me and the course of the rest of my life. Wow, that sounds really dramatic, but it's true. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing my LASIK experience. I got LASIK and this is so, so exciting for me because if you know me in person, then you no, I wear glasses, but if you don't know me and you are a subscriber here, then yes, even though they do not appear that often on my channel, I do wear glasses. Well, I did. <laughs> I still have to get used to that, but I did wear glasses. I've actually been wearing glasses since middle school and I was nearsighted, which means that I could see from up close, but I could not see from far away and I could not like I couldn't even see the camera that's in front of me right now but now I can so if you want to know all about LASIK my surgery my experience the recovery process then just keep on watching yes. what this is gonna be is me kind of explaining everything and then I'm gonna be showing you guys all of the footage I filmed kind of like a vlog style video because I did film before I got LASIK when I got LASIK and of course after my recovery process and updates here and there so if you don't know what LASIK is LASIK is a laser eye surgery to correct your vision so as I mentioned before I was nearsighted so I could not see from far away and now I have 2020 um, vision which is amazing it's crazy I still can't believe it I mean I have not gotten used to it I also had astigmatism um, and that cleared up as well so what they do with LASIK is they create a flap on your cornea and flip it which sounds really insane and then with the laser they correct your cornea and then they put the flap back and I got it done on both eyes the same day um, and yes of course I will show you the footage of that and let me put a disclaimer if you are like sensitive to surgeries or anything like that you might want to skip that part even though I didn't make it too long because my husband recorded it and bless his heart he did not do a great job <laughs> but he helped me out as much as he could um, so leading up to the surgery it was actually really 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 exciting and of course i go into detail of why during my vlogs hey guys so i'm currently sitting in my vanity i just got done um filming a video and i just wanted to talk about this because you probably won't see this until it actually happens but two weeks from today my life is going to change completely because I am getting LASIK and I am so excited, so nervous, a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but this is something I have dreamt of for so long, for years and years and years. As you guys know, I don't do it often on camera, but I do wear glasses and um, I am nearsighted so I can see from up close, but I see nothing from far away. Well, this originally started almost three years ago after I had Emma and I went to get a LASIK consult and they told me that I could not do it if I was breastfeeding and I was so bummed out because I was still breastfeeding my girl and of course as you guys know Ellie was the most beautiful miracle and surprise but once again I went through pregnancy, I delivered, I breastfed as well and then uh, when Ellie turned I want to say like four to five months we switched to exclusively pumping and I pumped out so so much milk I would pump six times a day and I built up a huge stash I actually had to purchase a deep freezer um, because they were not fit I donated a lot of it and it was a beautiful experience to produce that much milk for my girl but I eventually started cutting down each pumping session and now that she's over one, um, I had stopped completely a few weeks back because I still have so much left over. And so I decided that it was time for my dream to come true. So in exactly two weeks from today, um, today is February the 26th, 
um, I am getting LASIK March 12th. Um, of course, nobody knows about it, only my immediate family. Um, but I'm the type of person that I don't like to talk too much about certain things just in case, not to jinx myself, not to get like mal de ojo, nothing like that. Um, so I haven't told like any friends or anything like that. Um, but I am so, so beyond excited. So I have been like pre-filming like crazy and trying to keep some videos um, saved up so I can edit and stuff because after I do get my LASIK done, I cannot wear any um, eye makeup for two weeks or if it's brand new um, for one week. On Monday, I have my pre-op and I think... Well, I don't know if they're going to allow me to film in there, but I will for sure update it. So this can be like a vlog. Um, and of course, it will go up after my surgery is done. I cannot wait to wake up and see life and see the world the way it's supposed to look without having to put on glasses. Um, if you guys know me, you guys know that I hate contacts. I have never been able to put them on. I don't like anything like in my eyes so um the last time i wore contacts was the day i got married and so it's been almost five years hey guys so um i can't open my eyes because hi baby hi i, I hope i'm getting you in the frame um but i'm on my way to the pre-op and i'm not supposed to read anything or look at a screen or wear my glasses um so because I'm gonna get my eyes dilated and stuff and it is the pre-op my LASIK is next week and I'm super excited I'm a little nervous because I don't remember the last time I got my eyes dilated so I don't even know what to expect um, but I told Fonso um, let me film this really quick because I didn't bring my camera or anything but I did want to include like every step of the process so we are on our way there and then I'll probably um, do a little clip after we're done too. So yeah. So I just left my pre-op. Surgery is 10 days away. Can't see crap because I'm dilated. But I'm so, 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 so excited. The doctor said I was the perfect candidate for LASIK. And they a bunch me, of they told me the same thing. <laughs> and a bunch of things about my corneas, you know, and flaps and hair. <laughs> um, so I'm super, super excited. I just have to wait 11 days, and then I'm gonna be able to see the world the way it's meant to be seen, right? The way you see it. Oh, I see it better than what it's supposed to be seen. Oh, blah, blah, blah. 2015. Yeah. You know, I'm so excited to get LASIK because I won't have this problem anymore. I'm gonna be able to see. How I look on the viewfinder. And I think we look pretty good. This is probably the last video that I'm gonna have to make blind. Oh my god, how exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just got done filming. This is the last day I'm gonna film before my surgery because it is tomorrow. Um, so I just finished filming a little video and I took all my makeup off. That's it. I cannot wear makeup anymore. I'm getting really nervous though. I'm getting really, really nervous. Not of the procedure per se, but of like the thing that holds your eye open. And I just, I feel like I'm in denial. Like I don't believe that this is happening. I don't believe that this is the last night I'm gonna be using these glasses. I'm feeling a little anxious, a little bit excited, a little bit nervous, a little bit scared, a little bit of everything. So yes, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. It is time. It is currently 12.36. I have to be there at one o'clock. I'm really, really nervous. I don't know why I'm so, so nervous, but it's all good because they're gonna give me a volume, so I'm gonna calm down, I'm gonna be relaxed. It's gonna be like 15 minutes. This is the last time I'm gonna be wearing these glasses, which is kind of bittersweet because I've been wearing glasses for how long? <laughs> years and years and years and years, but I'm so excited. Excited slash nervous, but yes, <laughs> we're almost there. Okay. So I just took the Valium. I kind of tasted it in my mouth a little bit. It was gross. Oh no, actually, those were the drops. That's what I taste the drops. Oh, they get LASIK. 
Oh, I've been super nervous. He got LASIK already, but he's been scaring me. Going through all the worst case scenarios. I'm wearing an eye patch. So. <laughs> How do I look? Really Is good. that brown? It was brown. She wiped it all off. Yeah. You ready? Mm-hmm. You ready? Yes. Can you say yeah? Yay! Alright. did it. Oh, I can't even open my eyes, so I cannot even open my eyes. But I did it! Your mask off. I got a mask. I don't know, my mask is all wet because my left eye was crying so much. But I did it. Now we're gonna go home. I'm gonna take a nap and that is it. Hey guys, so it's been about three hours. Like three hours? Almost three hours. Post off. I can now barely, but I can open my eyes a little bit more. My baby brought me pizza. We are munching as we speak. It's crazy because I already see better, which is insane. I mean, my eyes are so, so red, but it just feels like hazy. But I feel amazing because I can see better already. It's it's insane and of course I'm tearing up a lot I actually can't stop crying but I did take a nap and that definitely helped so I'm gonna eat my pizza and then we're gonna chill and I'm gonna just lay down and rest tomorrow I have my first appointment I have to go to in the morning and so I'll update you guys then and then I can talk a little more in depth about the surgery um, because I'm about to take my second volume and then just go to sleep for the rest of the night i've never closed my eyes so much during a whole day <laughs> um but i'm also not tearing up as much as i was so yeah already doing better this is my um nighty night setup <laughs> and this is so i don't accidentally rub my eyes or anything but i feel much much better i actually I've seen a little bit of TV here and there just to see and I can busy read. Busy <laughs> beeps. And we're gonna go to sleep. Good morning. Today is the day after. It is currently 7.43 in the morning. I have my first post-op appointment at 8.15, so we're leaving now. Um, it's crazy because I can see. So out of my right eye, I can actually see perfectly. Um, and my left eye is still a little hazy. Um, I'm using these uh, super cute um, sunglasses that they gave me over there. Um, just because my eyes are still a little bit sensitive to the light. They're really red. Do you want to see? It's kind of gory, but I'll show you. Oh, that's scary. Um, they're really, really red still, so that's another reason why I'm wearing these babies right here. Don't want you to see that. Um, but it's crazy because I, like, I'm still in denial that I can see. I also just put my little antibiotic drops, which are disgusting because I can taste them. Oh my god, I don't know why. Oh my god, ugh. So yeah, that's happening. Every time I put my antibiotic drops, I can taste them, which is so gross. Um, but other than that, I've been putting my little artificial tears and my eyes don't feel dry or anything right now. Like I actually feel, I feel better than I thought I would. So, um, right after we got done, that was a little bit hard because I was scared I was going to feel like that forever. Um, because I couldn't even open my eyes, but now it's like amazing. 
so far i'm so so happy hello you guys today it is the 14th so it's been two days since my surgery um i know i look ridiculous with these on but you guys do not want to see my eyes they are super gnarly you know what i'm gonna show them to you so like let's have a little jump scare you know boom i know look how my left eye yeah oof that looks scary um put these bad boys right on i just wanted to update you guys because after my appointment yesterday i did not do an update i was so hungry that we just went to grab food and then we came home and we just relaxed i just basically relaxed um the whole day i'm not supposed to be lifting the girls um i think i should be fine tomorrow but they said the first few days at least not emma since she's over 30 pounds so today is day two um i see perfectly which is crazy left eye still a little bit hazy just a little bit but i see 2020 which is insanity i'm in denial like i still don't believe it i actually was reaching for my glasses yesterday and today in the morning too um because i just cannot believe it um i'm not supposed to be rubbing my eyes touching my eyes anything like that but today my eyes feel super super dry so i'm definitely using the um artificial tears a lot i know this is the feeling i used to get when i wore contacts which i never really did but the time that i did wear contacts this is why i hated them because i could feel my eyes being super dry that's the same feeling I'm getting right now, which I know it's super normal. It should go away in a few days, as should my redness around this eye. Um, This happened because of the little sucking thing that sucks your eyeball out. That was like the weirdest part of LASIK. But the sucking thing, that's what caused my eye to look like this. And he said, he meaning the doctor, the doctor said it's totally normal. It should go down between 7 and 10 days, just like a regular bruise would. Other than that, I'm just chilling and enjoying seeing things. Like, I actually have been watching TV and I watched a movie and just the fact that I can see. Like, this is what people see. This is what people with 2020 see. This is how they see normally. <gasps> Do not take your eyesight for granted. If you have 2020, you, you know. How does it feel to be God's favorite, okay? <laughs> but seriously, it's it's just amazing another thing i want to do is i actually want to get like a really cute pair of sunglasses because i have never done that i owned two pairs of sunglasses and they both had prescriptions so obviously now i cannot use them but i've been wanting sunglasses either from key or desi because i love desi perkins and i've always wanted to purchase one of her sunglasses and i never did because what was the point you know but now I can, so I really want to get a pair of her glasses. I'm so excited to wear like cute sunglasses. Um, and I'm super excited to look at the camera without this mess going on because I look terrifying. Whenever I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, oh my god, I look so scary. But yes, that is the update. Hello, hello. So today is day six after LASIK. And I finally feel like we're turning a page here so my eyes do not feel as dry as they did the first five days which honestly i was a little bit scared of because i've never suffered from dry eyes i've never um really known what that feels like and that is one of the main reasons i had not worn contacts in five years let me update you guys on the eyes they still look pretty gnarly i'm not gonna lie um yeah so oh scary but it is looking better um which kind of sucks because all the vlogs i watched because i did before i got my lasik i watched um a few vlogs on people that had gotten their lasik done none of them looked like this however my brother did look like this after he got it done um so it is slowly going away um but it's still there however um i feel really good like i'm wearing sunglasses without prescription <laughs> This is like a whole new world. Um, tomorrow is my one week post-op, so I'll definitely update you guys on what they said. And yeah, I'm just still recovering. Um, I have not worn any makeup whatsoever. I don't plan on doing so for a while. Yesterday was my last day on the antibiotic drops, which 
those had me so annoyed because one they were so strong that i could taste them and it was nasty and two they were causing my eyelashes to have like gunk in there oh my god it was so gross i have been feeling the ugliest i have ever felt in my whole entire life because my eyes looking red the freaking crusties in my eyelashes hey guys i just got home from my first post no not the first one but my first week post op appointment and actually the week is going to be tomorrow because i got it done last friday today is thursday the 7th 18th yes today's the 18th i got it done on the 12th but today was my appointment everything looks great my eyes do not feel as dry as they have been feeling lately so that is always a plus um i'm still using my artificial tears um however my eyes do not feel as horribly dry as they did the first few days um 2020 baby i see 2020 so that is amazing news um, my face is tilted because my eyes are still red, but they have gotten much better. Let me show them to you. I just feel like you guys are going to be so, so grossed out when you see it. <laughs> but, you know, it's normal. Um, it's just going to go away. Um, so, of course, I am not filming any fashion videos or beauty videos because, honestly, I'm, like, terrified of putting makeup on. Again, I don't know how people wear makeup, like, the very next day. Like, I have no idea how because... In my little instructions, it says I'm not supposed to rub my eyes for two months. So I wonder, like, if I were to apply makeup or mascara, how the heck am I going to take it off without, like, you know. So that is something I'm going to have to figure out. My next appointment is at one month post-op, and that's going to be April 15th. Um, it's been a while since I did an update. Today is day 13 post-op and today's the first day i'm going to wear makeup or i'm attempting to my foundation is right here i haven't put it on because <laughs> i'm a little scared like technically i am perfectly fine to wear makeup even eye makeup but i don't want to i'm scared to i don't know how to take it off that's the problem it's not putting it on it's taking it off um, update on the eyes. My right eye is almost perfect. If you can see, there is just the tiniest little red still there. My left eye, however, still has redness on um, the left, but it has gone down so, so much. So I don't feel as horrible. I'm going to be completely open and transparent with you guys. I have been feeling terrible um, mentally these last few days which is something I've never talked about on camera. Um, but it, it got to me, like my eyes looking like this, not being able to wear makeup. And not that I need makeup because I really always go out without makeup actually, unless I'm doing something. I actually have been feeling really confident without makeup. So I don't know where this is coming from, but I've been feeling super self-conscious and just plain ugly. I've just felt the ugliest I have ever felt in my life the worst i felt about myself in a long long time which is a super dangerous mentality that i don't like at all i don't like to feel this way um but you know i that's why today i woke up i washed my hair i want to wear a little makeup and just get a little bit ready because i miss filming i miss making videos i thought by now my eye wouldn't look like this um but I did want to film an update and I actually want to put this video up. And if you guys don't mind the little bit of red that's left, I would love to get back to my regular videos. I have hauled so much stuff and I definitely want to talk about it. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys do not mind um, seeing this little bit of red that's left. And so I can keep making videos but yeah that is my update day 13 post op um let's talk about the surgery because i have not talked about it at all my eyes feel amazing i see perfect i see 2020 they don't feel dry actually the drops i was going through them like freaking nothing man like i was putting so many drops i actually have to remind myself to put drops now because i don't feel like i need them however my instructions were pretty clear and i do have to keep applying them even if they don't necessarily feel too dry just because um it takes a while for the eyes to go back to normal um so they might be dry without me noticing um so i definitely still apply them about 
six, seven times a day. And yeah, that's the update for now. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey you guys, this is the last update I'm going to do. I was originally gonna wait until after the first um, month post-op appointment, but I don't wanna wait that long. And I really want to film just regular videos because I miss it so much. I have not filmed in over 15 days. Um, so I'm gonna be a little rusty here and I have not uploaded a video in almost a week. So I think this is the perfect video to come back with just to explain um, why my eye will be a little bit red in the rest of the videos. But yes, I'm really happy today. A couple days ago, I was really struggling mentally with my self-image, um, with my self-love and all of that. Um, but today, I feel a little bit better, um, which is crazy because it is such a journey that some days you might feel terrible, some days you feel okay, and some days you feel great. And it's all valid and it's all part of the self-love journey. So um, today I actually feel really great. I, again, did my makeup and I think it turned out really, really nice. Um, of course, my validation does not come from a face of makeup, but from myself. And I just feel a lot better today. Um, I have started taking walks around my neighborhood and, and doing some workouts from home. So I want to say that has definitely helped me too. Side note, I just applied my drops and I just thought it would be worth mentioning that I have become an expert at applying drops. Um, this is something I could never do. If you know me, then you know I couldn't even put my contacts on. I'm super sensitive with anything that has to do with going in my eye so this surgery was very scary for me for that reason but sounds and looks a lot scarier than what it actually is but i wanted to do a little side note and just say i am a pro now at applying drops that is all <laughs> but yes i'm about to film the intro and outro and kind of explanation um for my lasik video and that is it. That is my final update. I will see you guys very, very soon. It's been now 16 days and it feels like forever ago, yet it feels like it just happened, but my life has changed completely already. It changed the same day I got my surgery done. So I have no regrets. Just the fact that I wake up and see, just the fact that I can see my girls, the fact that I can see the world, the fact that I can drive without glasses, the fact that I can rock sunglasses now. I mean, I am just so incredibly happy. But of course, you have to do your own research if you are considering LASIK. I'm just going to be sharing my own personal opinion and my own personal experience. Of course, it is not the same for everybody. So the day of the surgery, I was super nervous. I actually had like a panic attack. I don't know why I was so nervous. It might be because I started watching a bunch of videos on LASIK and that might not have been the best idea just because it looks and sounds way worse than it actually is. When you are actually getting the surgery done, you do have anesthesia, um, drops, so you can't feel anything. It is not painful. It feels uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie because I did watch a few videos where people said that they did not feel a thing. I did. I'm not going to lie to you. I did feel something, but it was more of pressure. And for me, I was super scared of the tool that keeps your eye open. And for me, that wasn't even the hard part. For me, the hardest part was actually the one um, that they place on your eye to cut the flap. And it kind of sucks your eyeball out from your socket a little bit, which sounds really, really gross and insane. But that was actually the hardest part for me or the most uncomfortable part for me. And that is actually what caused all my little um, vessels in my little eyeballs to um, pop. And that is what caused my um, eyes to be so, so bloodshot red, which was something that I was not expecting. And especially today, as I'm speaking to you, I was not expecting to have a little bit of redness still. But I'm not gonna lie, it's been 16 days and I wanted to get back to filming. I wanted to share my experience. Day of the surgery, like I said, I was having a mini panic attack. I was like, I couldn't breathe. I felt really, really off that day and I could barely sleep. I think I slept like four hours 
the night before um, just because this is the kind of person I am if I have something big coming up I usually cannot sleep and I was very excited very nervous very I was feeling a lot um, so the day of the surgery I got up super early I ran a few errands that I needed to run and then I needed to be there by one o'clock and we made it they gave me a little um volume which thank god for that because it really calmed my nerves and then we did the surgery it was literally 20 minutes and that was it um right after the surgery i could not even keep my eyes open which was also very hard but as soon as i got up i could see i couldn't see perfectly my eyes were very cloudy very hazy but I could see and I could see a sign that they had on the side of the wall and to me that was shocking because within 20 minutes I could see. After that they took me to a room for a little bit just to um, rest my eyes and close my eyes and then I immediately um, went to see the doctor. He checked me. I was already seeing um, much much better. They did a little test for me and I could see um, the letters that they were asking me and I was seeing the 2020 line which is insane of course they gave me all of the aftercare procedures I still kept it because as you guys know I keep everything um, so I did keep all of my little instructions they also gave me a little bag I got it done at Katzen Eye Care and Center by the way and this is the same place my um, husband got it done and they gave me a little goodie bag they gave me a lot of samples of the drops but i had purchased some myself so i never really went through um the samples i have my actual drops right here these are the ones i've been using non-stop and then i have gel ones for right when i um go to sleep they also gave me these little babies and uh they still have tape on them because the last day i wore them i was so over these i just took them off and i was like oh i'm just gonna put you in the bag never to be touched again but they did provide me with these so i could put them on my eyes and of course just in case i would accidentally rub my eyes we do not want that to happen actually that is the one thing you cannot do is rub your eyes um, a lot of people said in their videos um, for one month, but my little aftercare instruction says for two months. But yes, I wore these for exactly a week. If you know me, then you know I'm all by the books. So my husband was making fun of me because he's like, I only use those for like three days and then just don't rub your eyes. But I was like, no, it says for one week. I'm going to use them for one week. So those were taped to my face. And another thing I did to protect my eyes um, is I got this little eye mask. And then on the inside, it does have like a little... Um, indentation so I thought these were pretty cool they held the little plastic ones in place and I actually still use this daily I think I'm gonna be using this for a very long time because I've never been a sleep mask kind of person but I guess I am now I don't know like as soon as I put it on I just I fall right asleep so this has been such such a lifesaver another thing that i also purchased are these glasses right here they are blue light glasses and they protect me from the screens so from my phone from my computer from the tv these do protect um all the light coming from um, those sources and these were really important for me to get because since I do a lot of videos I edit all the time and I'm always sitting in front of the computer screen so these were a must for me other than that that is pretty much it my life has returned back to normal it was actually pretty normal a few days after the surgery the main thing I felt um, recovery wise besides my eyes being super red which it looked a lot worse than what it felt um but the first four days my eyes felt so so incredibly dry i had not felt that kind of dryness in a very long time um because i did not wear contacts so that is why i hated contacts and it kind of took me back and reminded me why i never wore them in the first place so my eyes did feel very very dry i remember my doctor saying i should probably use um at least five to six drops a day and i was definitely using like at least 15 to 20 a day because my eyes felt 
very dry, very grainy. Like I just felt like there was something in my eye that I could not take out. So that was, that lasted for, I want to say three to four days. And then absolutely nothing. Perfection. I have been very blessed because I, ha I don't know what a halo eye is. So that has not happened to me. I have not had like double vision or a lot of blurriness or anything like that. If anything, the only thing that happens sometimes is if I'm looking um, at something from up close, um, which is weird because my up close vision was just fine. But sometimes I'll be looking at something and then it's like my eyes are trying to focus and trying to kind of adjust to what the vision is now. Um, but that doesn't really happen often and I don't even know if I'm explaining it right. But that is the only thing that has happened. Other than that, I see perfectly. I see 2020. I see my TV. I see, I see signs. I see traffic lights i see everything also with my astigmatism that also went away so we corrected that and now driving at night it's like a whole nother world the lights are not all you know what i mean if you have astigmatism then you know what i mean but yes my life has completely changed i am so happy i got lasik done i will recommend it to every single person i know even when i could barely open my eyes i was already like this is the best thing i've ever done besides having my babies and getting married like this is the best thing that i have ever done for myself I am so, so happy. Oh, so, yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little something. I hope if you are considering LASIK, of course, do your own research, but I say go for it because you will not regret it. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Hit that little bell so you never miss any of my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video.